Lions TV, the good news just keeps on coming in SE16. More dead wood out the door. I'm talking about Tyler Bury, who has completed a permanent move for an undisclosed fee to Danish Super League side Odense. This one has been going on for a while with Tyler Bury. It looked like he was going to go on loan to Oxford. Then, he, from what I can work out, he turned down Oxford. I don't know if he thought he was too big time for that. It does give me that impression as a person. Again, I don't know him personally, but you can only go by what you see, uh, but maybe it wasn't that, maybe he wanted the fresh challenge, and he's got that by joining the Danish club, um, okay, let's wind it right back, Tyler Bury joined Millwall under Neil Harris, bought from AFC Wimbledon, only made about five or six appearances for AFC Wimbledon, I think 2019, went straight into the 23s, where um, I used to watch before I had a job, a lot, a lot of 23s football at Calmont Road, never really impressed me, I've covered this before, very self-indulgent, head up his own arse as he's running down the touchline, um, falling over, final ball, all wrong, going for the glory himself, and I just thought, well, this, this kid is shit. Um, although he was very, you know, he was powerful with his running, he could drag, drag your team up the pitch, he, he was clearly talented, but as I said, all those other attributes on the negative made him not a very good player, and I thought we'll never get near our first team. Now, I was thinking this today, I'm thinking back, how did he... All of a sudden, come out of nowhere and get in our first team. I must, I think, if I can remember, if memory serves me, if I'm not right, and then check me in the comments below. I'm sure that during COVID, we had a few illnesses, a few injuries, and he got in. And he started to do well, and he went above and beyond anything I could ever imagine him to be, having watched him for so long in the 23s. So fair play to him on that side. I mean, I remember a time when he scored against QPR in a 2-0 win at the den, knee slide in front of the cold blow lane. Jeb Wallace is the first one on the scene. And Jeb Wallace is saying, I love Tyler. I'm mentoring him. And he's going to be a fantastic player. And then there was rumours of Brentford wanted him. And I just thought, well, I just thought I must be wrong about this guy. I did laugh. I did still think some of the old attributes were still there. However, he was clearly talented. And um, he did a little bit of the what the SA does now, the SA role or the Amaku role. Comes on when we need a goal, maybe when we're chasing the game to get out and from wide and cut him from the left. Um, however, it went very quickly south for Tyler. I think that started for him when he allegedly, I wasn't, I, mean, I was there, but I didn't see it, uh, wankering off some of the uh, Docker stand. That won't go down well. And then he just, he looked like his head dropped and his shoulders slumped. And he, he did look, and I don't, you know, I don't really want to say this because I don't want to, Put him, you know, tire him with that brush without knowing for definite. But he definitely looked like he had a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. His clobber on Instagram was absolutely outrageous. And, you know, he might think my clobber's not good enough or whatever. But he was wearing headscarves with, with, you know, these outrageous sunglasses. And it just seemed like his ego had kicked in a bit. That's why I'm going along those lines. I actually remember the club put a video out on social media and it was Scott Malone when they got off a plane for like a, a pre-season tour. And Scott Malone went to the cameraman, get on Tyler's clobber. Like, he, it was outrageous. <laughs> um, so maybe, you know, he started to get an ego. He thought he was a little bit better than he was. Uh, winger, confidence player. And, 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 you know, things are going well for you. Everything's good. But you start to have to do other sides of being a winger sometimes. Maybe working a bit hard. Maybe tracking back. And he didn't do that. And he very, very quickly fell out of favour with the Lions fans. Um, and as a result, he was been training with the 21s. In pre-season, as I said, this Willy won't. He went on with Oxford for ages and he didn't. But now he has joined Danish club Odense. I don't know how that will work out for him. It was very interesting, actually. Keep an eye on that because his previous loans he'd had at Hartlepool. I think he's he done really well there in uh, in League 2 for them. Got injured, had to come back. So, yeah, it might be interesting to keep an eye on that one. But you know, he's left the club. I'm sure 99% of you are delighted. I put something on social media earlier saying about video coming later. Tyler Bury's left the club. And everyone was saying, good, good riddance. So maybe not the uh, most happiest of times in Tyler Bury's career, the back end of it in SE16. But he's out the door and it will free up a little bit more uh, wages, hopefully, for maybe someone coming in. We're looking at a couple of players going out now. Transfer window closes in about 15 days, I think, something along those lines. So will others come in? It remains to be seen. There could potentially be one more going out, which I will cover, hopefully, today. We will be doing a podcast live tonight. Wednesday the 16th of August, 8pm, if you're watching this at a later date, obviously we're not doing a podcast tonight, but if it's Wednesday the 16th of August, you're in luck, we are doing a podcast tonight, live at 8 o'clock, then debate returns, and if I get time, I'll be back later on, before that, 
if not I'll do it tomorrow, for the Jake Cooper, potentially Rangers, Leeds and West Brom interested in Juicy Jake, the absolute giant. I hope that's wrong because I think he's a fantastic player for us. He gets a little bit of unfair criticism for some of our fans. Juicy Jake's a winner for me and I'd love to see him stay at the club. But that remains to be seen. I'll cover another video. But for now, yeah, Tyler Bury on your bike, Tyler. Give George Long a lift to Norwich on your way. And I'll see you later on for some more videos. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.